Hello, I'm back to Lucha FM, starting a brand new series um, for TW9. This is the first TW9 series I'm going to be doing, and it's basically um, doing what I did before with TW20. 20, um, we're going to be doing it with a local to global, with Fight Club Pro, the promotion I used to go and see live. Um, I didn't want to do it with any other promotion. Um, I'm going to stick to, I'm going to try as much as possible to stick to the original way I wanted to play the game where I just basically just brought in local wrestlers or British wrestlers. I want to try and keep it as long as possible with just bringing it, just having literally mostly British wrestlers. There will be a few exceptions, but wrestlers that have been on the British scene for a while or uh, the occasional import. But like to start off with, it's going to be a very small roster like I started with before. Um, down, the, down the road, I'll probably just give up what I was doing and do it that, like I did last time. But for now, I want to try and keep it as local wrestlers as possible on the British scene and just try and slowly expand uh, as I go along. I don't want to spend loads of money on production like I did last time and then just cripple myself financially. I want to try and make profit every month, hopefully, even if it's a small amount. I'd rather do that for a year or two doing local small shows before I, I, I want to walk before I can run, I want to build up a bit of a pot and then use it slowly to build up the production and upgrade the merchandise um, instead of just going crazy and then just basically using the editor to cheat. I don't really want to try and do that in this one. So hopefully that will intrigue you a lot enough. Um, I appreciate the people who watched the, the previous series I did. I'm sorry it went, it went to an abrupt end, but... None of us were expecting TW to bring out a new game up until a couple of weeks ago. It come out of nowhere. So we're going to start this series again from the beginning for TW9. Um, I've had a little go as AEW offline just to test out the new features. Um, some of them I think, and some of them are pretty cool. But um, the one thing I do like about this game is I can get rid of morale issues basically um which i'll show you in a second but yeah so in a second i will start the brand new game i've just started loading it up and will you'll watch me setting up fight club pro and then we'll take it bit by bit at a time but yeah i'll be back in a sec with the first part of the episode <laughs> right so here we are it's going to be a one player game um, I'm going to pick Brian Alvarez. I, I was going to pick Dave Meltzer, but it won't let me for some reason. Because look, if you show on here, it says, sorry, he's unable because he's out of business. So I'm going to pick Brian Alvarez. So when I was on about the morale thing, what I've already done, I've already saved it as my default. So this is how I'm going to do it because there was a few things I just didn't want to do a deal with. So this C requirements per show, I didn't want to do that. Um, yeah, I'm going to skip that one. Actually, I forgot to do that. Um, I've, I've got rid of this enable book main event first because I like to start at the, at the bottom of the card and work my way up. Um, a lot of the things overuse, I've, I've got rid of that because there is going to, especially at the start, I'm going to probably have a few matches that are the same. So I've got rid of the, the warnings and penalties for that. Um, I've got rid of the enable match aim requirements, enable left off show complaints, enable pre book uh, reminders and bonuses and got rid of the enable event pre-booking and tv pre-booking as well and then i got rid of the enable repetitive booking penalty i also um enable locker room morale i can get rid of that if i wanted to i think i probably will because i was sick of wrestlers moaning i thought i got rid of that already haven't i um okay let me get rid of that then i'm not bothered about oh no actually no i need to probably have it on actually to make it all authentic but um yeah i got rid of the repetitive booking penalty as well so that's what i wanted enable small roster penalty well i don't i think i'll be all right because i'll probably have enough workers like i did last time i did this so i should be all right uh locker room morale will leave so um enable crowd burnout and now enable match ratios we're fine with that so I think that's it really. I swear I got rid of it where it said um uh no, I didn't. But you can get rid of it, but for the sake of this one I'm not going to because I want to try and I don't want to make it oh I don't know actually, shall I? Um 
locker room morale. But that could be anything, though, couldn't it? Yeah, no, we'll leave locker room morale on. If it was just the fact that I get sick of wrestlers moaning when I'm not booking them, that's the one thing I get uh, moaning about. Ah, there we go. Enable left off show complaints. I do apologize, everyone. So I've got rid of that. So that's fine. But obviously, I will keep the locker room morale because there will be a lot of other issues causing that. Um, when I did my test save with AEW, I basically I ha I had like certain wrestlers as the booking team, certain wrestlers as the locker room enforcers, and it caused nothing but issues as well. And I thought I made really smart choices. So clearly not. But yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Anyway, um, also I want to say thank you to the. Before I carry on with this, I just want to say thank you to the people from the the um real world chronicles discord group so basically it took me two days to extract the files from the download um the real the the, the real world chronicles download because of the photos it took me two days to extract it only to find out that the 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 windows extractor program that i've been using the box standard one for since i've got this laptop um it's really slow and, and and it's a nightmare and i didn't know this and then when i used winrar yesterday what took me two days took me one minute with winrar so i was really not happy um because i had to leave my laptop on for two days without turning off so yeah a bit frustrating but we've got them in the end we've put we've fixed the issue with me not being able to get the photos working so thank you to the discord group just want to say thank you for that right so what we're going to do here now is start unemployed uh, we'll just leave all the promotions as they are. And then what you do on here, when you want to do your own, start your own company, you just click on this here. Um, I'm going to find the photo first before I type everything else in. So I had to down, I had to um, save this separately. It wasn't in the picture folders. So we're going to go Fight Club Pro and then FCP. I haven't got a backdrop, so we'll leave that. Um, we'll just do fcp.com or something like that. There we go. And then we're based in the Midlands. Um, home address, Wolverhampton. Where's Wolverhampton? I don't know. Planet Ice? No, 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 no. Steamworks? I think I think that's it. Starworks Warehouse is where they used to do it. Let me just go all the way to the top just to make sure I don't miss anything. I think it's definitely... It used to be Planet Nightclub, though. Unfortunately, we haven't got this on this database, which is a shame. Got Planet Ice, but it's completely different. So I think it's the, the Starworks warehouse. I think that's where they do it. Um, and what we'll do is uh, TV or monthly. So I assume that means. Hmm. I don't. Know. Let me. Let me. Yeah, I think it's TV or monthly. So this means that the AI will create a schedule using monthly strategy set in at the start of each month. The company will check to see if there's any active TV deal. If it does, all events will be made dormant. Otherwise, they will be activated. Okay, I don't know what to do now because I think that's not what I want. So we go weekly. We'll go weekly. It means AI I can uh, create a schedule containing a minimum of... No, I'm going to go monthly. What am I about? We'll go monthly and then I can add a TV. Is that... Yeah, monthly. There we go. Challenge level. So with easy, you get a company which is already... Popular and prestigious. No, we don't want that. So we want rock hard. That's what I had last time. And then product, we want to basically copy AEW's product. That's what I did last time. But we'll call it Fight Club Pro. Um, free Ring Circus, Free Ring Circus. Based on the Free Ring Circus concept that you have a little bit of everything on the shows that you can please most organs. This is designed to appeal. Oh, no, it wasn't this one, was it? No, it wasn't this one. Um... Product search, there we go. I think it's no product product, whatever it's called. I think that's the one that is it on here? No style style, that's the one. So we'll go um no style style, apply this product, that's the one. Okay, right. Just want to make sure so we don't really want any no, we don't want any there you go. No face face no face heel divide, no weight split no weight division women's division mini women's mini division no stables yes managers yeah support. Mm, do i ever yeah i will have managers um we won't we won't mess with anything like this we'll leave it as that 
men's and women's division, medium division with large, there we go, large division, match focus, regular focus, modern western. Yeah, we'll leave that as that. I think that's good enough for me. So that's the product sorted. What's, I'll, I'll leave geotags. I don't know what that means. Right, start the company. Here we go. Okay, why is it not letting me start the company? There's already a company with this. Oh, that's annoying. There's already Fight Club Pro on the database. Uh, we'll just call them Reborn then. Fight Club Pro Reborn. I'll use the editor to get rid of Fight Club Pro on the database after I start this. Oh, for God's sake. Uh, we'll just do RB for now. That'll do. Yeah. Right. So offline, I'll get rid of the other Fight Club Pro. In fact, let's have a look. Let's have a look at Fight Club Pro. They're not on here at all. Oh, that's the, this is, I'm looking at the wrong thing, and I, um, yeah, Fight Club Pro, well, there isn't another Fight Club Pro, that's probably dormant, that's why, right, active, inactive, yeah, Fight Club Pro, so maybe I should have just made these active instead, oh well, it is what it is, right, so I'll get rid of them, no, actually I'll do it now, in-game editor, companies, so we'll get rid of that, and then can we, how do we delete them, search? No, no, no. Uh, I'm sorry about this, everyone. Right. Uh, there's no way of, I'll just save them or something else then. I'll just call them Fight Club Old School or something. And then we'll just do that. We'll just save them as that for now. That'll do nicely. Okay, so now we can go into the editor now and we can call us Fight Club Pro, I think. Yeah, go and tap that Fight Club Pro, nice and easy. FCP sorted. There we go, lovely, jubbly. Right then, we'll, right, let's have a quick look. Um, actually, we can't really because we haven't got any wrestlers other than Brian Alvarez. Um, so, what I'm going to do now. Is I'm going to go offline for two seconds. Well, you'll it only take two seconds for you, but it's going to take me a while. And then I'm going to bring some wrestlers in. And then when you come back, we'll have a bit of a roster. We'll have some staff, and then I can show you everything else. So bear with us. Right, I'm back, and I've managed to get some wrestlers in. I'm quite happy with the wrestlers and the staff I've managed to get in. Um, so what we're going to do is first of all is get our commentators set. Um, at the moment, we've only got Dan Reed and Eddie Dennis available because obviously I'm just trying to stick with local. I might have to expand to UK. Um, have I saved that? Well, yeah, I assume that's safe. Right. Um, and then what we need to do, obviously, I'll show you the titles first. So we've got the heavyweight title, the tag team title, and the women's title. So we'll just keep it as three titles for now. We don't want to go too crazy with too many titles. So let's have a look at the roster. So the main guys we need to be concentrate on are Trent Seven, um, both Kid Lycos One and Two. Um, we've got Jetta and Millie McKenzie. Um, we've got the Knight Brothers. I think they're brothers, and they might be son and uh, father and son. I don't know. Um, we've got a few like Fight Club Pro uh, ex wrestlers in real life, like Amari, Clint Margera. Um, and then we've got a few unknowns that I haven't seen before, like Ashley Dunn, Bradley Phillips, Brendan White. So maybe they'll be good. I don't know. We've got Dave Mastiff as well. Good old Dave. Uh, bumped into him in, in the gym when I used to, he used to go to the same gym as me. I was very shocked to see him. Um, we've got a few referees. Eddie Dennis is our only road agent, so we need to correct that at some point. There's another unknown, Joe Lando. We've got Kanji, who's a women's wrestler. We're a bit low on women's wrestlers. I think we've only got... Three women's wrestlers. You've got uh, Matthew Horgan, another unknown man like Darice. Um, the photos aren't the best, in my opinion. They, they could be better. Um, but I've just got to make do with what I've got. And then we've got some experienced wrestlers like Robbie X. Uh, as I said, Roy Knight. We've got Shea Purser back as well. Um, got a couple of referees. And then another unknown in Will Cruz. So, like I said, 
enough to work with really um tag teams we haven't got any actual tag teams at the moment but maybe we can so we've got one tag team legit tag team and that's that's basically like us one and two so i'm assuming they'll probably be my tag champions to start off with and then we'll have to bring in i think what i'm gonna have to do is eventually bring in more wrestlers but at the moment i need to um basically i need to just make do with what i've got now i'm going to see if i can apply for uh, some of these so let's just how oh, it will tell me it says here do not meet the membership so let's scroll down so i can join that one which is the nwa which will probably be a pretty decent one to join i could start my own as well but i think i started my own the last time uh that one might be good with game changer pro tnt zona 23 um i'm trying to think which one actually i'm going to go with nwa so i'm going to apply for a membership with these actually do you know what uh no i'm going to start my own alliance and i'm just going to put uh we love wrestling as it um there is no photo for it fortunately and then we'll put no limit and then what type of trying to think which one was the best one last time uh public consortium i'll just tick all of them see what happens there you go we'll give that a go somebody leave me a comment uh if i've done that completely wrong and we'll just find alliance are you sure yep okay that's fine right so now we've got to try and hope that we can bring some in i'm just going to invite everybody and see what happens uh rejected They've accepted. Our first right. So we try and invite all elite. No, it's worth a try. I would like a couple of big promotions. That would help money wise. In the one on TW twenty twenty, I managed to get Ring of Honor, but probably won't happen on this one. Big Lucha. There we go. Big Lucha. Ah, that's a good one. I'm Lucha FM. Big Lucha. Right. Did I try them? Yeah, I already tried them. Uh, Black Label Pro probably be a decent one. That's good. Capital City, never heard of them. CML would be a really good one. Unfortunately, they won't. EDT, no. Nope. Deadlock Pro, there you go. Josh, you'll be happy, my friend. Uh, Josh is my friend. He's a very big advocate of Deadlock Pro. He's a big fan of them, so he'll be happy. Come on, I want a big, I want a big group, big wrestling promotion either in, in 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 america or in japan or mexico uh like i said i'm just gonna try all of them hope for the best you lot might find this boring so i apologize maybe i should have done this on the offline let me know if you like seeing this type of stuff when i'm doing the game at the moment this this video is basically going to be setting it up and um doing the first booking the first show which will be coming up in a minute Come on, MLW would have been a good one. Uh, no. Nope. NWA, should we try and invite them? No. Nope. New Japan. Nope. North Wrestling would be a decent one. Oh, that's good. North Wrestling. The only problem with that is now I can't hire, I don't think I can hire Tom Campbell as one of my announcers because it'll probably prohibit me now from signing people from their promotion, but we'll see. Last time I got PWG and this time I won't. So this time I don't, so progress maybe? Nah. Oh, progress and no, imagine. Nah, that's a shame. Yeah, pro wrestling, good to have a women's prominent women's rest prominent women's promotion in the alliance. Right, come on. The last time they accepted. Damn it. Because obviously they're already on this database, they're already in a an alliance with AW because AW own them. Another, I think they're a women's, Japanese women's wrestling promotion, I think. Wrestling Revolver. TNT. Tokyo Joshi Pro. Oh. TNA. Oh, imagine if TNA accepted. Stardom won't, WWE won't, but I'm going to try anyway, you never know. Neither will NXT. And Zona 23 probably won't because they're in alliance already. Right, so that's that. So we've got, let's just exit that now. So we've got um, Ak 
Wes Girls, so that's a women's promotion. Um, we've got Big Lucha, Black Label Pro, Deadlock Pro, German Wrestling Federation, North Wrestling, Pro Wrestling Eve, and Sukkibo. So that is good. Right. Uh, do Alliance titles? We don't have one. Create one. Let's create one. So I'm going to put that we love wrestling heavyweight. And then what we'll do is we'll just do that generic belt there. And we'll have it as an achievement. Add that. And then what we'll do 80. Oh, that's a pretty good one. That's way better than mine. Right. And then what we'll do is we'll do a women's one as well. We love wrestling women's. Um, gender limit female that's considered an achievement as well that's 80 no it's not that's 80 as well oh I forgot to do the photo edit there we go isn't that the same as that'll do there you go that actually looks like a women's rest women's belt as well and then what we'll do is we'll do a tag team as well so we love wrestling tag team and we'll just we'll just leave it as that even though it's only one belt but yeah um consider that achievement as well so that's that that's them that's the alliance type i didn't do this in the last one so that might be pretty cool actually to be honest well, that's that um right as i think i've shown you quite a bit right so now we're going to do booking team so we can't actually have anybody on that, can we? Oh, we can. So we can have, we'll just add all three of these and see what happens. Apparently Clint is happy his cousin Trent is in the booking team. I wonder why. Um, who do we have as a figurehead? We can't have anybody at the moment. Inner circle. So we'll go locker room leaders. So if we have Trent, Clint's happy with that, and then we'll have Clint, then we'll have Dave Mastiff. Did he? Yeah, we did. Um, Clint Margera. Trent's happy, his cousin's there. I think, how many more is there? Locker room leaders? Five. So we probably could do with Jetta, probably being another one. And then we'll have, <clears throat> we'll have Lee Hunter. Is the other one as well experience head fortunately his brother jim is not available anymore so he's a singles wrestler team from forces so i think we need to go big dave because you do not want to mess with him and then who else probably roy knight and then uh ricky knight jr maybe they're probably tough lads yeah three so that's that done. So that's our chief enforcers, head of talent relations. Hmm. We go. We we'll go. Dan Reed. Dan Reed is head of talent relations, moral officer. Hmm. So we go. Trent Seven. He is a pretty. He is a pretty good lad to be honest. He does like making people laugh. Like I said, we're quite limited. There's going to be a lot of people doing. A lot of uh, the same, but a similar, but a lot of jobs is going to be senior referee Steve Linsky. I think he's the only one I actually know. Um, male trainer probably Trent, and then what we'll do for head women's trainer is we'll have Jetta. She's more experienced than Millie, and then. Travel organizer. Hmm. Um, who would be travel organizer? Eddie Dennis, maybe. We'll have Eddie Dennis. I don't know what travel organizer does other than probably um organized travel. I'll leave Stooge because that isn't a good one to have. Um, I've got I've turned off storyline, so we don't need to worry about that. We got commentators sorted. There was something else. I swear there was. Backstage. That was the backstage. So what we'll do is, miss, no, we won't do masseuse. We'll do hotels are organised. Um, no. Transport was organised. And 
that's it because it won't cost us anything to do them right, if i had the money i would do catering and everything else right let's have a look let's see what else at the moment i'm going to leave merchandise and production for now ticket prices let's have a look at that if we do cheap i remember somebody telling me do cheap 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 there we go so we'll do that it will get our attendances up uh i think that's pretty much it now so what i'll do is come back for our first show right i'm back and uh i've decided to form my own stable so um because I'm, I'm 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 a long-term listener of the figure four uh weekly well not figure four weekly it's, it's, that don't exist anymore but i used to listen to that and uh i listened to the brian and vinnie craig and granny show and things like that and the wrestling observer uh radio and uh yeah so brian alvarez has got his own stable it's going to be basically like imagine like a jobber spirit squad right to center job squad type of stable it's just going to be like a fun jobber stable um but eventually hopefully get some of these over um so brian alvarez is the leader we've got will cruz as his muscle and then the rest ashley dunn Brody Phillips, Brendan White, Joe Lando, and Shea Purser is his lackeys. Brian's going to be managing them all, so hopefully they'll have good chemistry with him. Um, they will get pushed a little bit. Um, probably get like they'll probably be like they'll be showcased on the on the shows, but they'll probably be losing most of the time against the other wrestlers I've got on the roster. But we'll just see if some of them are good workers, they will get more of a push down the road. Um, but yeah, so we're ready for our first show. I'm just going to do the one show for this episode. And then next episode will be on Sunday. Um, so I'll do, what I'll do is I'll do Wednesday and, sorry, not Sunday, Saturday. So Wednesdays and Saturdays will be Fight Club Pros. Um, for now, I won't be doing another TW9 series like I did with TW20. I'll just use um, Sundays to post um football shirt content so fake football shirts or mystery shirts so eventually once i stop doing that i'll probably do a new series on tw9 with ring of honor for instance or pwg or somebody like that but yeah so anyway let's just crack on this is our first event of this set of the series I'm really excited to see how it goes so we're not going to give anybody a night off obviously um we're going to select the venue we're just going to pick this pick the best option usual um booking team meeting um we'll just spend we haven't got any i don't think have we we've got 113 points i'm not going to bother with this actually to be honest it doesn't really appeal to me that i did it in the when i was doing it in the beta i gave it a go but it didn't really it, it didn't make it didn't give me like crazy ideas for wrestlers and storylines and things like that it just all it does is boost up the storylines that you've got already so Robbie X comes to you backstage with an idea for a creative finish. So I'll put Robbie X in a match and I'll put Robbie X, sorry, I got interrupted there by the dog. Um, I'll put Robbie X in a match and use that creative idea. So in his role as morale officer, Trent Seven tried to bring Dan Reed to, 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 into some backstage team building, but only succeeded in annoying him. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Um, we show training tips and then Shay Persa uh, lifted the locker room, won a video game tournaments. So that's that. And then what we need to do, we'll do a team bonding. That usually works out well. Everybody seems quite happy. So there we go. Right. That's a bit like, I don't really like doing all that stuff. It's a bit of fluff in it. I'd rather just get on with booking the show. Um, so what we need to do is basically, the show's 90 minutes long. Um, you're allowed to run 25% over and then the show should be between 68 and 112 minutes. You must book at least 68 more minutes to proceed. So at the moment, I don't know how many angles we need to do. I assume it will be the same as last. So what we'll do is we'll kick off the show with Robbie X versus Ashley Dunn. And then what we'll do is we'll just, we'll just leave it as... We'll do 12 minutes. We'll do the creative finish before I forget. Creative finish. Add... Put Robbie X as the winner. We'll do an open match. And then what we'll do after the show. Oh, hold on. No, we'll, uh, 
haven't done an angle before, so. Um, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. We'll just try and do matches. Um, right. So next match we'll do is another one-on-one -on -one match. We'll do we'll do um, Dave Mastiff versus Brendan White. We'll try and get Brian Alvarez as much as possible on the shows. Hopefully that will help. Dave Mastiff with the win. Open match. Um, right, so that's that. Uh, right, 75% matches, and so we've got to do some angles, but when I click on add angle, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Staff. No, not staff. Uh, I've never booked an angle on, on this game. I'll put, it's a lot easier on TW1. Right, I'm just going to pick. So we'll just do Ashley, Dunn, Creative. That's what we'll do. We'll just do that and we'll do it for. Uh, what do we do here now? We'll just click that and that's it. No, we just got rid of it. Um, we'll do six minutes. So actually, right, okay, now what do we do? Where is it? Save details. Okay, now do I exit and then. No, okay, this is really annoying. Right. I mean, you're probably all screaming at the screen right now. Save details. Six minutes. Now what? Ah, that's probably why. Ashley Dunn. Let's just leave it as Ashley Dunn in it. Right, now will that work? Ah, book segment. There we go. Right, so let's do another match now. And what we'll do is we'll do Jetta versus Millie McKenzie. We'll do 15 minutes for that. And what we'll do is we'll put the um, women's title on the line. How do I do that? All match details? No. Oh, this is really confusing. How the hell do I add the title? Is it in road? It's not road ages, is it? Uh, ah, titles. Oh, so annoying. Right, women's. Yeah, so we'll do so that, and then we'll leave it blank, so we'll let whoever is in charge, we'll let the AI do it. And then we need to do another angle, so what we'll do this time is we'll do Brody, Brady Phillips character development, six minutes, add, save details, book. There we go. Oh, okay. Um, Brady Phillips. Sorry about this, everyone. But like I said, I haven't. I was doing the auto booker for the when I was trying this out. Um, on the beta, the AW, I was just doing auto. All right. So how long we've we got left? We've done fifty-seven. We can do another match. So we'll just do one more match, and we'll do we'll do exclude or it's been booked. So what we'll do is we'll do uh, no, um I want to do a tag team match, sorry. So we'll do Kid Lycos, Kid Lycos 2, and then we'll have Roy Nunn and Ricky Knight Jr. They should be a tag team anyway, to be honest. Um bear with us. Two seconds, sorry about this. Right, sorry about that everyone. Um, right, so we've got the main event now, so we'll go 18 minutes, and then what we'll do is we'll put the tag titles on the line, and uh, we'll have Kid Lycos 1 and 2 win this. Uh, we'll do an open match. There we go. Book it. Oh well. Uh, Roy Knight is not happy. Well, he'll just have to get over it. Booking analysis, Roy Knight's a little unhappy. Okay, what I'll do is I'll see if they'll let me... If we go... Um, we'll go all that match. And then open match. I've already done that, sorry. Uh, and then we'll go... Where's protect? Is protect on here? 
protect. There we go. We go keep strong, Ricky, and it might ruin the rating of the match, but hopefully it'll help. There we go. He's all right now. He's all right with that. Right then. So we've done seventy-seven minutes. Um, we've got, we've we're fine. We're not going to get penalised. Let's start our first show. I'm excited to see how this goes. Right. So the segment. So this is all different now because we've got wrestling rating crowd rating and then segment rating so i'm just going to concentrate on the segment rating i think um robbie x had a in-ring performance of 56 ashley done with the performance of 20 so that's not necessarily good it says ashley done was really up his game robbie x and ashley done have pretty good chemistry though so that's good um as the road agent eddie dennis should have done better brian alvarez did a good job at ringside so that's good so that's hopefully helping Get him over um this one got a 46 rating and uh dave mastiff with an in-ring performance of 46 brendan Wright with a 43 so we was keeping up with him eddie dennis again letting down as road agent um brian alvarez did some good work at ringside again so hopefully this new stable's getting over um crowd heat at the end white hot so not too bad this one and then we did an angle with Ashley Dunn, only got an 18. Ashley Dunn was very poor when trying to improvise dialogue. So maybe we need to script him a bit more next time. Eddie Dennis is continuing to be rubbish as a road agent, but as a, he's the only road agent I've got. So I'm going to have to look for some British road agents. Or maybe I'll see if Jetta will be a road agent. Maybe that'll help in some way. And Trent and yeah, I'm going to see if some of the... The, the older wrestlers will be happy to become road agents. That might help. Um, Millie McKenzie defeated Jetta. Got a 50 rating. It's the best rating we've done so far for a match. Um, Jetta with a 35 rating. Millie McKenzie with a 58. So at least she's improved on this database compared to other ones. And then in an angle that was apparently awful. Only got a 9 rating. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, Brody... Brady Phillips was very poor when trying to improvise dialogue. And then obviously Eddie Dennis let the team down. 49 rating for the tag title match. Um, 47 for Kid Like Us 2. 53 for Kid Like Us. Um, Ricky Knight Jr. was the stand-up performer. 62. And then Roy Knight was 31. So maybe Ricky Knight Jr. as a singles wrestler is probably better than in a tag team with Roy. Um... All the other night, all the other night family, um, other than um, Paige, as in Soraya, sorry, in AEW, um, they've all got a toxic reputation for some reason on this database. Let me know in the comment section what they've done. I can't remember. So Kid Like Us Two was off his game. So was Roy Knight. Kid Like Us and Kid Like Us Two showed excellent chemistry together, which is really good. Right, let's see how the show did. We've increased our popularity in one region. We got a forty-four rating overall. 61 people turned up. So this is box standard now. We've got to try and improve on these. So next show, we need to do better than 44 over a rating and hopefully get some more people in. 61 and too bad for a first show. Address the locker room. Um, no, do you know what? I don't, I won't bother with that. And then financial report. So we, um, I think we made 832 altogether. No, we didn't. What am I about? Workers cost us 1680 show cost was 343 Market to 75 so overall loss was minus 1721 but that is expected. Because we're at this, hopefully because we're in the alliance overall each month will improve um, the finances. Midlands has got uh, 10 now for us. All right. So not too bad for a first show. Uh, things to work on as we go along. Like I said, I want to do this slow and steady. I'm in no rush. Um, I need to get a couple more road agents in. I'm hoping I can just get some of the wrestlers I've got, like Jetta, to do that so I don't need to bring anybody else in. Because we've got to think about finances. We've only got 847 available. I don't really want to start getting in the red. Too bad. But yeah, not too bad for a first show. I'll, um, I'll leave it as that for today. I'm hoping that you've liked first show the first episode i've done let me know in the comment section what you liked and what you didn't like about it if there's anything you want me to improve on sorry just correcting my mask it looks really weird because the glasses are sticking out um yeah so just oh my god that's been like that the whole episode i'm so sorry there we go is that 
any better that's better that's less annoying for me yeah so anyway thank you for watching please like the video it helps push the video out the more people we get liking this the more awareness people will be for tw9 the more people will do videos so the more popular the game gets uh you'll have more people producing content which is better for you lot because you'll have various people playing the game and you'll get to watch all that so yeah so just if you like my video it will help me and it will help the game in general um please subscribe if you haven't already because i will be doing two episodes a week of this fight club pro so and like i said leave a comment let me know what you think of this episode any advice you want to give me when it comes to booking i really would appreciate it and i'll be back on saturday with another episode all the best enjoy the rest of your weekend bye <laughs>